Hey guys, welcome back. Now this video is in response to the question that we have received through the comment section. So one of the question that we have received was, Hey, can you please let us know as how can I convert a con 2D that is convolution layers output into a fully connected neural network. The reason that we want to learn this concept of converting this con 2D layer into the fully connected layer because as you know already, when I talk about any convolutional neural network, at start, I'm going to have a series of convolution operations. So I'm going to perform series of convolution operation. I'll be performing on my input data. And once I have performed this series of convolution operation, it could be con 2D and then this is followed by pooling layer. So once I perform this activity in series, at the end, I'm going to connect it to my fully connected neural network. The reason that I'm going to connect this to a fully connected neural network because it is going to help me in generating the output in my required format. The reason because if I want to build a classifier to say whether my given image is a cat or a dog, obviously in my output layer, I'll have a one input and in my output layer, I have one neuron and this neuron will have a sigmoid activation function. If I'm building a neural network for the task of multi-class classification, which has 10 classes in such scenarios, I'll have 10 neurons like this in my output layer and the activation function will be softmax. That means no matter what the architecture that I'll be having at the start, whether it is CNN or whether it is deep learning neural network in my output layer, I'll still have to keep my dense layer, which has as many number of output that I'm expecting. Hence, it's very important that you understand as how I can convert my con 2D output into a fully connected neural network. Now, in order to do this, what we actually do is we actually perform an activity called as flattening. Now to give you the intuition behind this flattening, let's say I have my input layer. My, my input data is in the format of five, five, five by three. So five by five is my dimension and three is my color number of color channels. Okay. So three refers to my number of color channels. Now on this, if I'm performing a con 2D operation as a result of this, my resulting shape, let's assume it is in the shape of 3 comma 3 comma 10, assuming that I have used 10 filters in performing this convolution operation. So my output is of the shape as 3 comma 3 comma 10. Now in order to convert this into a fully connected neural network, the first thing that we apply is flattening. Now by applying this flattening, I'll be converting this three dimensional tensor into a one dimensional tensor. That means instead of having three dimensional tensor of three comma three comma 10, I'll be creating a one dimensional tensor, which has the shape as three into three into 10. That means 90. In other words, it will be in the shape of one comma 90. The reason because one refers to my batch size. So if I want to give you a summary, suppose if my input is of the shape M comma M refers to my batch size. Okay. Height comma width comma number of color channels. Now if I apply N filters or I'm going to say K filters. Okay. K is the filters. If I apply K filters on my each input that I'm having over here, which is having the dimension of H comma W comma N, where N refers to number of color channels. In such scenarios, I'll be changing my input shape. So I'm going to say M because the batch size would remain the same. And I'm going to say H dash W dash and comma K where K refers to my number of filters. Now, if I want to convert this into a single dimensional vector, I'll perform an activity of flattening. Now, as a result of this flattening, I'll be getting the shape where I'll be converting my individual input data into a flattening shape. So it will be in the shape of M comma H into W into K. So this will be my resulting shape as a result of this performing this flattening operation. Now, once I have this output from my flattening operation, I can apply it to my dense network with required number of neurons in it. So this is how we actually build our convolutional neural network. Now to get the intuition behind the same, 
Let's look at our code. Now, if I scroll above, here I'm having a data. So I've created my input, which is having the shape as one comma five comma five comma one. So one refers to my number of color channels. And then I'm creating my tensor and this tensor is having the shape as one comma five comma five comma one. Okay. And then I'm creating my L1 layer, which is a con 2D layer. And on this layer, I'm having only one filter. And the kernel size that I'm using over here is three comma three. Okay, now let's do one thing. I'll just copy this code and let's modify it so that we get better understanding of this flattening operation. I'll define my input of the shape one comma, let's make it like this one comma 25 comma 25 comma three. So this is my input image of the shape 25 by 25, which is having three color channels that is color image. Then I'm generating a tensor using that input shape. And then I'm going to apply 10 filters on top of it. So this is going to result in a dimension. So let's see what will be the dimension. Let me not write it right away. So I'm specifying bias as true. Okay. Padding is valid. Input shape is 25 comma 25 comma three. Then I'm applying this L1 count to the layer onto my input X. And then I'm printing out the shape of my Y. So I now have the resulting tensor, which is of the shape of 23 comma 23 comma 10. Now let's create a flattening layer. Now to create a flattening la layer, I'm going to say that, okay, f is equal to tf dot keras dot layers dot flatten. So this is my flattening layer. Now to perform this flattening operation, I'm going to apply my previous output Y to this F that is flattening layer. I'm going to say that, okay, F out is equal to F. And on this F, I'm applying my input of Y. Now, after this, I'm going to display the shape of F out. Observe guys. So this time I have the output, which is of the tensor of the shape, one comma five two nine zero. The reason that I have got 5290 because this has converted. So which part? So this part has been converted into a single dimension, which was previously present in three dimension. That means 23 into 23 into 10. So whatever the number that we are seeing over here, this is the outcome of performing this multiplication. So 23, 23, 10. See, I have the output as 5290. Now in this way, I'll be performing flattening activity. Now, once this flattening activity is complete, I'll be connecting this flattened output into my neural network, which is a dense layer. Now to give you an example, I'm going to say D1 is equal to TF dot KRS dot layers dot dense. And let's assume this dense layer has five neurons and I'm going to say activation is equal to ReLU. Okay, so this is my dense layer of D1. Now on this dense layer of D1, I'm going to apply my previous output of F out. So I'm going to say F underscore out. Then I'm going to display the shape of output. So this time I have the shape as one comma five. Now, how does this neural network would look like? See, as a result of performing this flattening operation, this has resulted in my flattened layer or, or in the vector representation, which has the shape as one comma five two nine zero. Okay. So I'm having five two nine zero inputs over here. Now this five two nine zero in my input layer is being sent for my dense layer, which has five neurons. So, Every input is being sent to every neuron over here. Okay. Now, once that is done, each neuron over here is actually giving me the output. Now, as a result, I'm getting the output of the shape of one comma five. So in this way, I can flatten my convolution layer output and connect it to my fully connected neural network. 
I hope this video has been helpful to you. So if you have any questions guys, please let me know in the comment section. I look forward to seeing you in the next class. Till then, do check out our playlist. There is a deep learning playlist that we have created where you'll be learning deep learning from scratch. And there is also a playlist on linear algebra for data science. So please check out that and I hope you'll find it useful. Till then, take care. Bye.